Hello again, everyone. It's Grampy Rick. Um, I'm back on Monkey Farms Patreon fan server. Um, doing the second video in my showcase of my castle, the Chateau de Grampy. This is the area of the server where we built the uh, Guardian Farm. That Monkey Farm did a little showcase video of it. It's a really cool farm. I tried to build a, uh, a gas farm here that uh, is pretty epic failure, but I did build a big gas uh, <laughs> nether entrance here that you go through to get there, but um, and that's not what I'm here to show you. It's pretty cool because I carved away all the nether just so you could see down there, and it turned out that it's right above a, a fortress. So you can get uh, wither skeletons spawning and ghasts uh, floating around under there, and it's pretty cool. But um, anyway, that's not what we came to see. So let's look. Here's the entrance to the chateau. And also the uh, zombie pigman farm that, that we built as a uh, community project on a uh, live stream that Monkey Farm did. But I've, I've spruced up the entrance here to, uh, to uh, kind of set the stage for the castle. So um, what is going on? I'm not used to uh, not being able to jump. I have all those beacon bling at my chateau so I never remember that I can't jump higher but anyway so this is just the nether entrance this uh, oh my daughter is a my oldest daughter is a French teacher at a local high school here where I live so all my signs I put in French even though I have no idea how to speak French but she does so she gets a kick out of that but anyway so here's the entrance to the chateau we'll, uh, head that way. Um, well, I will show you just real quick. I hope this video didn't get too long, but I found uh, two. Well, I did. I did another video of that, but I found two uh, skeleton dungeons that were almost close enough together to uh, to keep them both active from one spot. They're just a little bit too far apart. There's one here, one over here on this side up there, but. Um, it's pretty cool. So I built it out, and you can see I, uh, I put a little skeleton head <laughs> behind the portal. But I just finished this sorting system. It's got a minecart that runs. Uh, so you get in this minecart, and it just goes around and around. There. Oh, I missed it. That's bad. Um, so you can just go around and activate the, uh, activate each one of the dungeons, and then. Um, Anyway, there you go. I didn't want to spend too much time over here. Didn't want to spend any time, actually, but let's go back. So this is going to be a, a tour of the uh, one, the second of three, actually. I decided to make three uh, videos. So this is the first of the interior showcase. Uh, come on. How come it's not loading? Um, load, load, load. The spires. They were hard to make in survival, <laughs> but anyway. So here's the uh, here's the chateau. We did the exterior last time. This time, I'm gonna do uh, the. Fr what? Something is really whacked. I th it must be my internet going bonkers. Thank you, Time Warner. Um, I'm gonna do this main entrance, and then we're gonna stop. And in the third video, I'll do the, uh, the two side wings. But here's the main entrance. You come in, and you can see um, there's a lot of detail in here. The ceilings are all fairly ornate and detailed. Um, little booth area. Here's a, a, a display case that used to contain the Ark and Stone of Thrain with some strict instructions not to remove, but somebody uh, pilfered it. Anyway, so this is the main area. This area goes to one of the side wings, so we won't do that. But the main feature on this first level is the H.A. Stone's Family Library. You can see it's a, uh, it's a pretty well-stocked library. It's not the biggest, but who, you know, it's just for one castle. <laughs> it's not like a uh, university or the Library of Congress. The reading tables, of course and the different uh, categories of, of literature. There's science and technology here, uh, faith and religion on this side, nonfiction and uh, 
fiction. Over here we have horror versus humor. Mystery versus history. And finally, addiction and psychological disorders versus uh, health and well-being. And then back here, of course, the uh, librarian's office. Um, so that's the library, the H.A. Stone's Family Library, as a matter of fact. Um, public restrooms. Again, my daughter, my French teaching daughter, Holmes is uh, men, French, and femmes, obviously women. So there's the public restrooms. We don't need to see those. They're just public restrooms. Uh, the femmes has uh, their own restroom, but they have a, uh, a powder room area off of theirs. Um, the dining room. This is really part of the master wing, but um, it's a fairly ornate dining room, so... Uh, we'll just see this part and then keep continue. This is the kitchen, the main kitchen, the main kitchen for the entire castle. So big industrial stoves and then a pantry. I have a cow farm that just writes an AFKable cow farm, so you can just uh, you can get you know quite a bit of steak pretty easily. <clears throat> Let's go up to the second level. Here's the sort of the main staircase. Uh oh, I <laughs> don't have glass in those windows. Um, so here's the second level and on this level is the uh, grand ballroom. So this is where the dancing happens. And we have a, a guest. <laughs> I caught this guy. So here's the deal. I, uh, I've i lit up miles of caves under this castle. It's incredible. So in the daytime, if there's any little dark spot, if I leave a dark spot anywhere, mobs just like immediately spawn. So I got to be extremely careful because a creeper could just ruin my life here. But um, anyway, I caught that guy and put him in there and name tagged him. Um, there's another one upstairs that we'll take a look at. Here's the chapel, the Koin Koinonia Chapel. This took forever and uh, I died about a million times in the nether trying to collect this much quartz but it, it, it was worth it uh, I just think this is pretty cool uh, stained glass windows just ornate detail of in quartz around these windows and um, it's just a uh, it's the showcase actually a showpiece of the entire uh, chateau there's the pulpit, obviously, with its uh, with the Bible. Um, here's the uh, balcony that we looked at earlier. It's interesting. I've got uh, extreme hills, but they're the boundaries of the biomes are like really um, kind of weird. So here's the uh, there's the balcony. Um, And then the other feature on this level is the uh, La Galerie de Art. And we have an exhibit by Erlon Hart, who plays on this server. We talked about Erlon in the first video. She's the one who made the logo for my coffee shop down there. But she's also made a ton of other art at her portrait studio. So I put a, uh, an art gallery here to exhibit her work. So you can see that's what this is. I won't go through every one of them, but it's... Uh, it's an art gallery. Every castle has to have an art gallery, right? So let's go to the third level. This is already getting longer than I wanted. Um, this is what I call the Hall of Heroes. And again, Muddy Casanova with his charged creeper farm is uh, has supplied all the skulls for my Hall of Heroes. So this overlooks the uh, chapel. And then down this hallway Again, with a fairly ornate ceiling. There's an office here for the chaplain, I guess. A little escape route if, in case we get persecuted. Um, um, anyway, a nice window that overlooks the uh, courtyard area. Nice little view out there. And um, 
And then this area, here's a, a pool pool table. You can see it's not a two-piece pool cue, nothing but the best, of course. Um, the grandfather clock. Here's kind of the hero's lounge. I think we're sort of bleeding into the other wing, but we'll just we'll just call this part of the main wing. Here's the hero's dining table and their their kitchen area with a smaller pantry in there. Um, I think I'll cover that in the other video. So anyway, there's the third level. Uh, this is really just a connection to the uh, servants' quarters. So we'll look at that in the other video too. Let's go to the final level. <laughs> you can tell there's a ton of levels uh, on this. So here's the top floor with uh, whatever it is. This is a window that overlooks the chapel, of course. This is just a storage area that hasn't I haven't finished yet. Up here, this is just storage. Um, here are some bedrooms. So here's a nice bedroom with another friend that I caught. This guy was quite a bit more difficult to catch because he spawned on the roof. And uh, then I broke the glass and he took my window pane. And then I went out and tried to capture him and he like tr almost knocked me off the roof two or three times and I think it would have killed me. We're up so high here that it probably would have killed me. But I nicknamed him Slappy because he kept slapping me off the roof. <clears throat> so anyway, bedroom, uh, another bedroom, and the hall bath that's shared by those two bedrooms. And then one, this is just a little conference room, a little lounge area, and the master bedroom of this level, which is really a cool bedroom. This is my favorite room in the in the castle, actually. It's got its own bath here with a shower. Um, it's got great views of the courtyard from here. And, uh, and that's really it for this... Uh, Oh no, I, I guess I'll sh uh, Oh, here's a mistake. I think I can correct it though, but uh, don't judge me. Uh, windows are hard. Um, this is just the upper lounge area. It's really part of the master's, the, the owner's part, but since we're up here, I'll just show it to you. It's got a sofa and a, and a big chase lounge with a hookah. So you can up, come up here and enjoy the hookah. And next time we'll take a look at the rest of the interior parts. Thanks for watching, everyone.